to another update to the hot tub aquaponic garden here. As you can see, this whole bed cleared everything right on out of there. Uh, all the lettuces, stuff like that. Uh, it was all looking pretty crappy, kind of like this one right here. And it's looking uh, nice and tall where it's trying to bolt and everything. Getting some spots on the leaves there like this, little like, white spots. Or I'm getting like uh, mold looking stuff like that. So decided to pull them. I left this one as an example. And the other two right there you can see just because they're so freaking tall. <laughs> uh, we've got a sucker right here that's not doing too bad. Uh, still looking kind of crappy though and this stupid tomato. <laughs> or this stupid pepper here. I still have this thing here. I don't think it's going to do anything, but I'm just going to keep it there until it does something. Maybe the bugs will eat it or something, which we're having a big bug infestation right now. You can see a little tiny Swiss yard there, a little bit over there too. Uh, those guys made it. Those strawberries, loving life over there. Um, they're looking pretty good. Another one right here. Uh, my little apple tree still going. Uh, took out pretty much everything else that was dead in here. Uh, got rid of the root structures and stuff. We're just left with some radicchio here. See how that comes out. Uh, tomatoes here. Thinned them all out. Still need a trellis over here. They're getting real tall now. And uh, found lots of hornworms all over this one and the other uh, bunch of tomatoes back there. Right over here, my eggplant still looking half decent. See if that does anything. Uh, pepper, I was about to pull it, but got a couple green leaves. I'll go ahead and leave it for right now. Little tiny okra is actually trying to do something now. This one over here is pretty much has an okra on it, but not a daggone leaf on the entire thing. And this one right over here has a half eaten leaf at the top. And uh, well, like a little bloom here that's uh, probably gonna die. Basils, pulled all of them. Uh, except for this little stump. Uh, I was just going to go ahead and leave that for right now and see if it does anything. Much like right over here with these peppers. Just go ahead and see if they do anything. Worst case scenario, they don't do anything and I pull them. So here's a couple of the lettuce stumps that I still need to remove out of the system. Um, you can see I got a little Swiss shard there that's trying to come back. I thought that was going to be completely dead, but now it's starting to pop up. Got two of his friends right next to it. Right over here, you can see that purple basil. Um, keeping that purple basil right there, I cut it way back, but there's some uh, half decent looking leaves on the bottom there, so I figured I'd give that a shot and see if it'll come back any. A couple strawberries looking good, with some leftover hornworm uh, poop, which came from uh, up here, some of the branches that I chopped off. You can see I took off the entire part there. I whacked all these things way back. Um, took off a lot of leaves. As you can see, I got a whole tub full of leaves that I took out of here and branches and everything. Um, peppers, not looking so hot, but heh, what else is new? Same old, same old. Uh, that little pepper over there is probably the best looking one. And this one right over here actually has a banana pepper on it. And then we got a couple actual ones trying to go right over here. Yes, this is very bad. <laughs> And yes, this is how it is growing here. Every single year, I have not been able to produce a pepper. I've never been able to get them bigger than, say, this, or like this, except those jalapenos that I did last year, and they were already taller than that when I got them. As you can see, we've got some water on the cover here, and the fish like to swim around in there, uh, probably eating on all these leaves and stuff like that, or anything that they can find, uh, like worms and stuff like that that fall into that tank. This little strawberry right here that's not doing too bad. Tomato here, I'm probably going to pull him. That's one of the suckers. Uh, there's that one I thought was going to be dead. Let's stand up nice and tall, see how big that gets. I pulled a uh, small little goofy looking tomato off of one of these tomatoes right here. That was uh, my catch for the day today. Over here, uh, my hidden pepper here, you can see there's half-eaten leaves and stuff like that all over the place, and there's poop all over the place next to the algae and stuff, and that's because in here there was more hornworms. Grab another one off of there. Uh, strawberries overall are doing pretty good. Got a couple of places there where it looks like beetles are getting at it and munching away on it and uh, some yellowing and veining of the leaves and stuff like that. Did add some more uh, iron to the system, just waiting for it to kick in, I guess. And then I can go ahead and add a little bit more. Over here, this is uh, the lettuce that I was keeping. 
just to show how tall it is. It's really big. That one over there, look at the size of the stock on that thing. Gigantic. I mean, it's like bigger than my pinky, almost. And from over here, you can see that purple basil and uh, how small it is now. And it was uh, up to about here before, and now it's whacked all the way down. As you can see, I got a bunch of empty cups here all over the place. They uh, will be needing some plants to get in there. Don't know exactly what kind of plants I'm going to do, but I'll figure that out when it comes. Russell Sprout, not looking too bad, so I decided to keep him. Took out all of his friends, though. The hydro tube overall is not doing too bad. I've actually been really impressed this year so far uh, with that design. I didn't think it would work at all, and I figured it would be one of those fail videos that I'd be talking about towards the end of the year, about how bad I failed with it, but... No, I'm definitely going to keep this thing going and uh, use it again next year. You see right in there a couple of my bigger fish. <laughs> uh, these are pretty much, I think there's only like, uh, what, a dozen or so left from last year. And, uh, oh, I can't even tell you how many dozen I put into this one this year. Probably seven dozen, something like that. But, uh, and I've only found one dead so far. So that's a good sign. So I'm going to get on out of here because I still got some more work to do in here. So, until next time. Later.